Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Apologies if I look the same. I'm trying to bulk film to catch up. Again, this seems to be what works best for me, but today's video are, should be 21 or 22 products that I'm decluttering for my collection. Um, I'm gonna just show them to you. That that's the style I'm doing today. So if you haven't seen that, then let's just get into it. So guys, I had 10 drawers of makeup in my Alex Ikea drawers. I've decluttered down to six. I have a whole bag of stuff, but I just said I'd show you 21 because most of them are in boxes ready to be sent off. So these are the ones that aren't in boxes yet. So I said I would just do that. So I'm pulling at random. So I hope I didn't include this in any other video, but the first thing I'm decluttering is my Makeup Revolution Baked Highlights. My Makeup Revolution Golden Lights Highlighter. I used to love this highlighter. I used to love it. It is like a gold green color and I used to love this. And I actually have a dupe of it from Becca that I also decluttered. But this is going because I don't like a green stripe on my face anymore. There's nothing wrong with the formula. It's quite affordable, it's like a five euros, but this is going to go. I don't know who to give it to because the lid is broken. I don't know who would want that, but there's one, I'll ask my friend to see if she wants it, but yeah, I'm getting rid of that because it's too green. This one here is another one from the same brand. I haven't really used this. This is in the shade Peach Lights, but it's too icy. It's kind of similar to the Kaleidos one in shade. This lid is not broken. And here it is here. It's like a duochrome peach color, peach, pink color. See how icy that is from there? It's just not a shade I want to wear anymore. So, oh my God, I wonder what I give this. Ruth, if you want this, let me know. If you want it, I'll give it to you. And then product number three is also a highlighter. This one is kind of tough. This one is from MAC and this is in the shade Show Gold. Oh, it's just because I have a pink I like more. This is a very nice shade. This is a duochrome cooler tone pink. I just don't like that shade of pink striping on my face. Do you see it there? Just don't want to. It's really nice. I won't put this in back to MAC because it's too good to get rid of. Does that make sense? I think I'll just give it to someone to use that would enjoy using that. So that's that one. Then that's product number three. Product number four is a blush from Sleek in, in Rose Gold, but I have loads like this. this. There's nothing wrong with this. This is really good. It's like the NARS orgasm. God, I'm struggling to open this. Okay, here it is here. This is actually a nice product. So there's nothing wrong with this. Look at that, it's kind of pigmented. And there we go. I just have a lot of products very similar in that color and I just use those over this one. I don't need to declutter this one because I like this one, but because I have a few in a very similar colors, I just don't bother using it. So I'm gonna give that to someone else. But if I had a smaller collection, I would buy that one again. We have more blush. <laughs> We're decluttering the Jouer Flirt Blush Duo and Kiss Me, Touch Me. This is nice. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I have the other, all the other ones. So I just prefer the other ones because this one is a bit too light and that's a bit too deep for what I want. It's almost like mixing it would be the perfect color. And out of the other ones, I reach for this one the least. So I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine I have in mind so she can have that. I even said it to her so she knows it's coming. And then I'm also giving her this blush as well from L'Oreal. This is nice as well. It's just, I have other shades like this. This one is really nice and it's from L'Oreal, so would recommend. What shade is this? This one is in 105 Rose Pastel. If they still sell this color, this is really nice. It is a very nice formula as well. I actually really like this. It's just, I have a Makeup Revolution one in a face palette that I'm currently panning that face palette like a shade from so there's no need to get to have so many because it's not a shade I wear a lot it's cool tone pink I probably will end up wearing them now that I've finished with that I'm decluttering this bronzer here from two Fa I'm decluttering two of them where's the other one? Oh, there it is I'm decluttering these two this is in medium deep and light medium and I like both it's just I haven't been reaching for it so you know, there's no point in keeping them if I'm not using them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're they're matte. They're fully matte. They still smell like hot chocolate, the beverage, not... You know when people say it smells like chocolate? To me, it doesn't smell like chocolate. To me, it smells like, you know, cooking chocolate. You know when you're making hot chocolate, the tea, the drink, sorry. It smells like that chocolate. Um, Which is probably how chocolate smells and I just eat processed crap. But anyway, I'm declaring both of these. Both of these are nice. It's just, I don't even think I can give them to anyone because they're just too old. Like... That's the problem. I don't know what I'll do with these, but I'm decluttering them because I'm not using them. 
And this bronzer I'm decluttering from Makeup Revolution. This is also a nice product in Ready To Go. I have another shade called Golden Days, I think it's called, and I've panned it fully before and I'm on my second one. And they're just so similar, there's no need to have two when I'm reaching for the other one. This is a warm tone, glowy bronzer, but it is nice. And if I had a smaller collection, again, I would have got that again. It's really nice. I need to give this to someone. And all of these will go to someone, bar these two. I don't know what to do with these yet, but all of the rest of them have a home already allocated. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting rid of them. Another highlighter, this one is from I Heart Makeup, Gold Goddess of Love. I used to love this highlighter. I like the color of it a lot. Color is stunning. It's the, the texture, on, it just accentuates texture as all well on my skin particularly much. I used to love it though. Maybe it's because now I have highlighters that don't accentuate it as much, but I really like this. I actually got a good bit of use out of it. There is 10 grams. And when I say a good bit, I don't mean 10. I mean like I probably got 100 uses or more out of this. So there's that. <sighs> then, uh, depending on which video goes up first, you'll already know about this one, but this is my Star Surfer uh, highlighter from Kaleidos in number two, Space Age. I'm really disappointed about this. This is too icy for my preference. I should have, I didn't, I didn't know that. I should have researched it better than what I did. But since it was coming all the way over to Ireland, you know, I was so excited for it. And you, know, you see them in people's shop my stash videos, etc. So many of their videos and it was just so, I was so excited. So I was actually so disappointed. It was a lesson that I needed to learn was to really research more because I don't like icy highlighters. So this is going and it may be going to one of you actually. Depends on which video goes up. First, you'll know the deets on that one. If the video is already up, I will link it. This, this is the MAC Nutcracker Sweet Peach Compact in Tutu and at dusk. And I think this is lovely as well. I think this is lovely as well. It's just the highlighter, the highlighter is intense. The blush is nice. It's just a bit on the icy side. So that's that one there. It's really nice. It's so hard because all of these products are the stuff that's icy, I would happily use. Happily. It's just, then I feel guilty. Another bronzer. I like this bronzer. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's the Ultra Bronze in... It doesn't say. It just says Ultra Bronze. So maybe that's the shade. This is a nice bronzer. It's a matte bronzer. It's huge. It's 15 grams in it. I panned the highlight equivalent of this and it took me 15 months of six days a week. Five to six days a week roughly of use. So I just don't want to give that to this. I like this bronzer. If I didn't have many I would use this, but it's just that I have a good few bronzers that I would only be reaching for this to make sure that it's getting used. But it's it's a nice bronzer. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Nothing wrong with it at all. What have we here? We have some of these products as well, then I'll go on to the rest. I'm decluttering the final two concealers that I was holding on to. This concealer is not old. This one is older. This is the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Creamy Concealer that I got color matched in the shop and they color matched me to light one Chantilly. It's so white on me, I just can't use it. And I don't even think I know anyone in my personal life fair enough to give this to. I don't know who to give this to. I have one friend I'm gonna try and see does it work on her when I see her. But other than that, I have no idea what to do. With that cost of fortune, it's so irritating. I used a voucher to pay for it, thank God. This one though, I use my own money. This is in the shade Fair and it's the Tarte Shape Tape and it's too fair for me, even at my fairest, it's too fair. So there's, I was like, I watched People Project pan this and it took them so long and I was just like, you know what, now I'm not committing to that length of time on something that doesn't even work for my under eye, it just doesn't work. Uh, eyeshadow, no, I'll leave that for now. I have three of these lip products I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of the matte, Meet Matte Hues from the Balm, even though I really like this color. Why am I getting rid of it then? I'm getting rid of it. It's very, very dry. The color is really, really nice. But I think I think the reason why I actually committed to getting rid of this is because I have a more comfortable lipstick in exactly the same shade. I think that's what made me bite the bullet on getting rid of this. This one here, I love the shade of it. And I know that the reason I'm getting rid of this is silly. This is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade Orange Shaw. And I love the shade of this. The main, there's two reasons. One, it transfers to my forehead. I don't know why my forehead, but it does. I love the color, but every time I wear it, someone says something to me in a not positive way. Someone always says, oh, you're looking very loud, or 
Ooh, like I'm not even going to say the stuff that said and I know that's a very silly reason not to wear it but it, I find because if you want to wear something you wear it and normally these things don't bother me at all but it I noticed that it's made me stop using it and now I every time I look at it I had like a negative connotation associated with it and I was like no I don't need that it's just disappointing because it's so similar to MAC Lady Danger and I've nearly finished that lipstick and I love it and it's so affordable and I think it's discontinued. I think the shade is anyway, I'm not sure, but it's it's just, it. truth be told, I'm not wearing it whether the reason is, is good or not. And then this one, I panned one of these before and I have this shade in other formulas that I just like that bit more. This shade is, this formula is actually grand. It is Vivid Matte Liquid, but it's still not as drying as other ones. Oops, it doesn't even set down fully. It's still a bit creamy. Sorry, I'm after dropping that now. The only reason I'm getting rid of it is because I have other shades, literally the exact same color of it. So there was no need for so many duplicates. Now I did get rid of a pile of lip products, not the only one. Now, this bit is like the juicier bit. I know, it's 88 euros. I know. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting, yeah, Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost. This was 88 euros. I'm getting rid of it because it drives me insane. It just drives, I'm only using it because I feel guilty because of the price. And the only reason I'm decluttering it is because I'm giving it to Ruth. So I know that she gets the significance of owning an Hourglass product. Because if I was just giving it to any of my friends, I'm like, no, I can't give 88 euros worth of product to someone who doesn't even understand, the, you know, not understand, but doesn't understand the significance of what this product is. It's not just a random blush or face palette. The pans just drive me insane. And I don't own brushes that fit in it. I, I own one brush that fits in it, but I can't use the same brush for a bronzer, a blush and a powder in one makeup application. And I'm not buying brushes just to fit it because the products inside are grand. The formula is lovely, but the colors are only grand. The highlighter I don't like because it has glitters in it. So I don't like that anyway. But the Too Faced powder bits, they're grand. Like what even is the point though? There isn't. Then the two blushes are actually nice. The bronzer is kind of warm. I'm sure I'd have a better experience if I used, if I had the brushes for it. I would be open, open to purchasing a individual product from them in the future, but not this. This isn't, this, this is not acceptable. I don't care what reason there is behind it. That's not, that's just not acceptable. I'm not buying brushes to fit this. If you're charging 88 euros for a product, I don't know how much the labor, the marketing, whatever, the product itself, the component could have cost a fortune. I don't, I'm not undermining the work that would have gone into create it and whatever markup that they choose to go for. I don't know the details of any of that. But what I do know is it is not mentally acceptable for me for someone to charge 88 euros for a product that doesn't fit regular standard brushes into it. That's just, it's just not okay. I know people may disagree with me on that, but I don't really care though, because I spent money on it and it shouldn't be like this. You can't justify charging a bill for a product that that you have to work that hard to use. That's not okay. That's really not okay. When I can use my bloody eight euro makeup revolution palette perfectly fine. And it was eight euros. <sighs> and giving it to Root. And giving it to Root. The next one is this palette from sub from ABH. This this is a painful one as well. Again, the video it'll be up there. It was a giveaway that it was in. If it is up, so this is the subculture. I have I'm panning it. I'm panning it. I bought it back up because it was being discontinued. Stupid of me, Steph. Uh, but I didn't think it was stupid at the time because I love this palette. I just because I'm going to finish this one to, as much as I possibly can to finish it entirely. I just can't do it again. And not even that I have to finish it again, but I'm just over it now. I'm over it. I'm over it, you know? So I'm gonna give it to someone that will appreciate it. It hasn't been used. This plastic and stuff is still inside. It's still in its box. Maybe I always knew that this would happen because I kept it in its box, you know? And I don't normally do that. I'm looking at all the makeup money that I wasted and I'm hoping I've learned from this. I'm hoping I've learned from this. Then I'm getting rid of this. I'm actually after getting rid of maybe 20 palettes, but they're all gone in boxes now. So this one isn't gone yet. So this is the Yes Please. I've only decided this one today. And I'm giving this one to Ruth as yet as well. It's from Colourpop. I love the colour story in here. The only reason I'm like, I'm reaching for other palettes over this. And the, the shade that was pulling me in were these three shimmers because I have all of the other shades in other palettes. 
This shade here I have on my lid today, just to see, I use my finger and it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, nice. It, this shade down here is like the selling point for me, but it's just not as pigmented as I was hoping it to be, that's all. And then this shade here is what I have it, or sorry, I have the other shades. The only shade I don't have a dupe of is this one, but I can live without it, so it's fine. And this one I don't have a dupe of, but it's not as pigmented, so it's not like I'm missing out. So I'm gonna give this to Roots, so that's that. So that should be 21 products. So that are, those are the products that I plan to get rid of. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.